Hey, my name is Sam Hudson, and today I'm going to show you how to take three separate images and turn them into one seamless collage using GIMP. So to get started, we're going to go to File, New, to create a new document, we're going to choose US Letter. Hit OK. And then we're going to bring in our images, so we're going to File, Open as Layers. And these are the three images we want, they're on the desktop. You can select all of them by holding down Shift and clicking them, and then we'll hit Open. So it's going to open them all as their own layer, and you can see that right here on the right panel is the layer panel. So it's showing our background, our first image, second image, and it's just about to open the third one. So we've got our three images. The first thing we want to do is place them where we want it to be. And it makes this easier that we can kind of toggle which ones we see and which ones we don't. So if we click this eye icon, and when it's not there, that means we can't see the image, so it's hidden. So we're just going to focus on this first image of Heritage Hall right now. So let's zoom out just a little bit. And we can see it's really big and taking up most of the space, so we want to scale it down. So let's come over here to your Scale tool. You can hit Shift-T. Make sure we're selected on the layer. And then click the image. So it's going to bring up this grid. And when we scale, we want to make sure this chain is linked together. That's going to keep the proportions the same. We click and drag from the corner until it's the size we want it to be. Okay, and then we hit scale. So it's going to scale that down for us. And then we need to move that over a little bit because we want to have some more room on the white on the right side of the screen for the other images. So to move, we can use our move tool or you can press M. Take that. Let's move it to maybe a little over halfway. So we've got plenty of room for our other images. Yeah. Looks good right now. Let's Add in our next image. So when we're dealing with the image, make sure we select it by clicking its name in the layer panel. And now this one's a little big. We're going to do the same thing. Scale it with the scale tool. Chain is linked. Click and drag from the corners. Hit scale. And once it scales, we're going to move it with the move tool. I want to make that just a little bit bigger. We can always go back and forth with the move and scale tool. It's kind of a, uh, you could do it a couple different times to get it just the way you want it to be. But what we want is each of the images overlapping each other, and we don't want to see any white space. That's how we're going to get the best results for this uh, kind of seamless image. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. That's good right there. Now we're going to work with our third image. So we'll make that visible. And let's put Blaze. Right now, this picture is blocking the picture of Blaze. So we're going to change that in the layer panel by just clicking and dragging the image and putting it above. So now Blaze is going to be above there. Great. Let's move him to the top right. And now we can use our scale tool to make it a little bit smaller. Click and drag from the corner. Make sure the chain is linked. Hit scale. Get rid of the scale. Put them right here. All right, this looks pretty good. So we want, we've got no white space right now, and all the images are overlapping a good bit, which is good. Let me make sure, bring Blaze down just a little bit, have a little bit more overlapping area. All right, so now that we've got our images placed, we can start using the brush tool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create layer masks. So 
we have this the image of Blaze selected. We're going to start with him. We right click on the image on the layer and we hit Add Layer Mask. It's asking white full opacity. We're okay with this, so we hit Add. And now we've created a layer mask. So what this does is we can go with the paintbrush tool or press P. It's going to pull up our paintbrush tool, and we can paint the parts of the picture and get rid of it, hide some of it, or we could bring it back. So if we go into tool options, which if it's not on the right panel, you can go to Dockable Dialogs, tool options, and it shows us uh, options about the brush. So right now we want hard hardness on 50%. That's good, that's what we want. If it's not there, you click there and then you click right here to select that. And then we want a pretty big brush size. So we're going to start painting the black color. And as you can see, it's erasing, kind of hiding the image. And it's taking away those hard edges and giving us some soft lines. So you can see we got a little white going on. We don't want that. So if we hit this little arrow, we can switch the foreground and background color so white's in front. And when white's in front, we can paint the image back a little bit. Yeah. There we go. That's what we want. You kind of have to, might have to do it a couple times until it's exactly the way you want it. We just want it to look like these images are seamlessly kind of blending together. Okay, that looks pretty good with Blaze. Let's go back to the Layers panel. And we'll select this next image of the Student Center. Do the same thing we just did. Right click, Add Layer Mask. Hit Add. Go in the paintbrush and can paint away. Okay, maybe add a little bit back. All right. So as you can see, we Merge, we placed our images together, we added a layer mask, we erased the hard edges, so it's just these soft lines right now, and we have merged our three images together into a collage. Uh, to save the image, you go File, Save As, we'll save it as a GIMP document. If you would like to export it as a PNG, you go to Export As. And that's how you make a seamless collage in GIMP. Thank you for watching.